jump in and start by thanking Senator Harder for sponsoring this bill. Thank the government representative's office for initiating it. Uh, the other leaders for what I expect will be their thoughtful deliberation and I believe and I hope support and also of course Minister LeBlanc for taking the initiative on the government's part. In the spirit in which Senator Harder has articulated, I want to join with him and I think with other speakers tonight at the earliest opportunity to voice my support for this bill and the support of the ISG. I'm speaking extemporaneously in part because I feel it is necessary to send that very signal that Senator Harder has exhorted us to send and it is a signal of our support and of the urgency that we see for this bill to move through this chamber quickly so that it can go to the House for adoption. I want to pick up on Senator Harder's comment that this bill represents evolution, not revolution. And yet, colleagues, of course, changes in the Senate have always happened through evolution rather than revolution. And that is something that we should be proud of. We have not been an institution that turns upside down everything we do because of a new fashion or a fad or the fancy of a number of senators, but we've always tried to be forward-looking and progressive, if you will, while respecting the traditions and history of this institution. This iteration of evolution in the Senate may well go down as one of the more significant Senate reforms in our long history. I say that because, to echo Senator Harder, Bill S4 is additive, it is not subtractive. It is permissive, it is not prescriptive. It enshrines what we already know to be the reality of the Senate insofar as there are groups that are non-affiliated other than the government and the opposition. In many ways, Bill S4 simply catches up with the new reality of the Senate. And to the extent that it isn't simply echoing what already happens in this institution, it is permitting what should be happening in this chamber, but which can only be made possible through statute. And I make this point because there are other things which the Senate can do by itself through amending its own rules. But the very items that we see in this bill today are only the things that government can do through the Parliament of Canada Act and has now presented to us in the form of S4. When I say that this bill is additive and not subtractive, that it is permissive but not prescriptive, what I mean to say is that it is respectful both of the current reality of the Senate but also respectful of Senate traditions and practices. Insofar as some of you have a particular view of what Senate, further Senate reform might mean, this bill is agnostic. It allows for different directions and permutations for which the Senate can further evolve. It doesn't lock us into a particular path, but it recognizes the present reality and it institutes a measure of equality and fairness given the recognition and given the reality of multiple groups in this chamber. Colleagues, uh, I hope I can set the example of speaking quickly on this subject and encouraging everyone to uh, move this bill along swiftly 
so that we can send it back to the House, but not just, I shouldn't say send it back, send it to the House, it started here, but not just that we send it to the House, rather we send it with a clear message that it has the strong support of this chamber. It was born and bred and cultivated in this chamber and sent with love to our colleagues in the House of Commons, and that they know that they are receiving a bill that we support fully and that we seek their support as well so that we can be truly the modern complementary chamber of sober second thought in the Parliament of Canada. Thank you.